Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi. My name is Felicia, everybody calls me Flick. If you are not new here, you will know who this is. This is my daughter, Aria, if you are not new, if you are new here, sorry. Um, so mm -hmm. obviously, y you will have seen by the title, um, it is the third mm -hmm. My Daughter Picks My Makeup. Only this is a special version because, well today isn't her birthday, but the day this was going up will be her birthday. And yeah. how old are you gonna be, Aria? Six, and I had two sleeps. Two more sleeps, so yeah. Yeah. This is today's Monday, your birthday is on Wednesday, so you've got yeah. two more sleeps. Yeah. So it's a special, special edition of My Daughter Picks My Makeup. So yeah. would you like to show them which palettes you uh -huh. have picked? Yeah. Of course. Of course. So once again, she has picked my, hold on, let me hold it a bit closer. Oh, oh sorry, hold on. She's gone in with my Beauty Base Pastels palette. I will, I, will, I will show them. And I had, and I opened it, and then I picked it. Then I picked. So, so you picked I'm, that one. I'm going to, you can open that. You want me one. to, yeah, we're going to be careful with this one, aren't we? Yeah, we, we have this one. She my picked mama. my. My Huda yeah. Mercury Retrograde, which, uh -huh. and why have we got to be very careful with this one? Because it will break the glass, will. It's very expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Very expensive, so, yeah, she's gone for my most expensive palette in my collection. Uh-huh. Um, so, yeah, we've got... And it's so beautiful inside, I love it. Yeah. And we also have this. Yeah, we have Book of Magic. Yeah, book right. of magic. There we go. That's what's so you've gone with a very kind of bluey, green, yeah. purpley, hustly yeah. colour story, haven't you? Today? Yeah, and you can. Yeah, I wish I could see you doing your makeup. Well, it can't see me doing it because it's time for your bedtime, but you no doubt you'll still be up when I finish because you'll be going to sleep very late. Mm -hmm. But even, even if head. you're not, you'll see a picture of it in the morning, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna have one more sleep. Can you tell she's very excited for her birthday? Uh-huh. And I tell my mum if she can buy a six balloon and I will balloon. try my very, very best to yeah. get you a number six balloon. Yeah. And put out the top of the balloon. And I will draw number six. You want me to six. do another balloon yeah. display? Yep, yeah. and I'm gonna draw number six in case no one I'm number six. I hope no one, I hope so everyone knows I'm six. On that six. note, <laughs> this little troublesome monster is going to go to bed now. Yep, and I need my mask. You need your mask? Yeah, my, it's my unicorn one. Turn it around. Oh. <laughs> it's my new one from right. Christmas. Your new one from Christmas. So, eye mask on. I'm gonna... Yeah. Yeah, don't really? put it over your eyes just yet, otherwise you're not going to be able to see it to get out. It's so stuck! So light! I know, but that's the whole point, is that it blocks out light so you can get some sleep. Now... That really gets my eyes so bad. Right. Right, are you going to say goodbye? Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in a minute and we'll get started with the look. Right, so, back. Lid is primed. Please excuse the... Eh. Red mark on the chin. Uh, the scab just came off. So it's a little bit red. So she's picked these two palettes. She hasn't really given me any specific um, colour direction. Obviously, they're all kind of pretty purple and kind of turquoise heavy, which is good because I didn't actually use the turquoise shade in either of these palettes. Which is good because I actually wanted to focus on the turquoise in both of these palettes the next time I use them. So that works out well for me. I don't want to use the blue. I kind of want to focus more on the purples. Obviously, I have my pastels palette is here as well, um, which is actually really sweet. When I asked her why she picked it out, and she said, um, "What was it?" She said, "She said it's not to use." She said, "It's really light. It's not." right but it it goes good with other ones I said what do you mean she said you can use it with 
with brighter palettes. So I was like, do you mean to blend it out? She went, yeah, like that. You can use it to, to go with the other, with the brighter colours. I was like, well, at least she knows what she's talking about. That that makes me feel better knowing that she learned something. So I'm doing something right <laughs> with my with my nearly six year old. <laughs> so yay me. Um, so yeah, I think I want to focus on maybe the greens, the turquoises and the purples. I think I'll probably use both mercury in this and obviously spell in this i'm not going to use the sparkly purple so i'm going to i used sparkly purple out of this one last time and out of this one last time actually but i am going to use the matte purples i'll probably use the libra shade out of this to blend as well i'm going to focus like the matte kind of greens on the inner corner okay i think i have a plan this is this is good i'm actually going to start on the inner corner so i'm going to take my favorite little pencil brush from lead i'm going to take the shade Bewitched. Let me just move my pastel palette off of here. Ooh. The shade Bewitched, which is this matte turquoise shade, teal shade, whatever you want to call it. And I'm gonna kind of focus that, start like drawing it on the inner. Might do it like a full winged out. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okay. And cool. Then we're going to go into. Let's go straight into that dark purple. I probably should do Yeah, we're going to go into Voodoo, which is this very dark purple here. I know I've said it before, I love this brush. Cool. Okay. So now I've got my basic shape laid out. I'm going to take a little bit more of that voodoo shade and just kind of Start drawing that in a bit more, darkening that up, literally kind of the small swipey motions over where I've placed it just to make sure I've laid it down. take a little bit of that first shade of the witch and I'm just gonna go just before and just start kind of swiping it over a bit just try and marry the two a bit I guess over that edge yeah that's alright that could look worse I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna take the shade wish which is the lighter matte green in this palette and I'm gonna start blending it around this area here and just try it kind of blending it out I'm gonna take a bit of haze which is the turquoise shade in the hood palette literally the the only matte turquoise shade and I'm gonna yeah go in with that Kind of a better in between shade. It's kind of little circular motions just above it. I'm literally taking that like almost right kind of into that. I'm going to take that first brush again and that first shade and just re-intensify where I laid it down. I 
haven't added any extra product on this, I'm just... Okay. I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to go in with Spooky, which is the slightly lighter purple in the Book of Magic. I'm going to take that just on the edge of that first purple shade. Sorry, I'm watching the Nikki tutorials um, docu-series that she's brought out and it's the last episode. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. If you don't watch Nikki tutorials, go and watch Nikki tutorials. Um, she's amazing. I am going to go in with a really small brush and add more of that really dark shade to blend in with this because obviously this is a lot, there's a very big jump from that to this. I'm sure there is probably a much easier way of doing this, but I don't think I have a smaller brush that would work, or a smaller like blending type brush that would work, so I'm having to kind of use this to do both jobs. But it's fine, I'm making it work. Okay, this is how it's looking, let me zoom you in. Mm. Not my best blending work. Um, could be worse, could be better, could be worse. Just zoom you back out a little bit. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to this brush. Just gonna dust it off. I'm gonna take Enchanted, which is like the really light, pinky purpley shade and just really go around that edge and just down slightly to really help blend that like that literally just that that's all i wanted <laughs> i'm gonna take a tiny bit more of that one i just used before just go kind of just below Especially more towards that outer edge. Yeah. Just dust that off and then just use that just to. I'm going to take that shade Wish, the kind of turquoise shade out of the two in here because it's quite a sheer shade I've noticed. Just dust that over that centre bit. Yeah, okay. So that's how that is looking. I'm taking the darkest purple again. Okay. I'm happy with that as it is. What I am going to do is I'm going to go off, I'm going to cut the crease and then we're going to come back, we're going to do all the pretty sparkles on the lid and then um, 
I'm gonna go off, do the rest, and then I will come back. We will finish everything, and then we'll go from there. All right, I am back. So as you can see, I actually went off and did the other eye and cut my creases. So I have decided what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to swatch Mercury and Spell. Mercury and Spell. So actually, Mercury is the bottom one, which is actually kind of a topper shade. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put spell all over and then put mercury over the top. Take the flat brush. Try this side of it, make sure the palette is not obscuring the view. Dry as well. I don't want to wet my brush actually. I just want to change my brush. That's too dense. Right there, that's already going on more foiled. I kind of wish I had the um, liquid shadows that came out when this came out. The only one I have is obviously opal. What I am going to do before I carry on actually. I'm going to take my tape and just try and keep that as neat as possible and I have an idea of how to make that a bit more distinct. I love that. So that is that as it is. Let's zoom you in. So you can see how it is now. What I might do is add the shade Mercury on top, I think. Take it on the brush. It's like a dark, it's like a topper shade. I don't know how it'll be on the brush. And add a bit more to it. Yeah, it has like a blue, re blue, black reflect as well, I think. Yeah, look at the difference between the two. One thing I am going to do though is I'm going to grab silver or iridescent silver one. I think, yeah, what's this one? Glam Bam. So this is one of my new W7 liners. Um, let's put any to order the other three. I was supposed to do that today, I haven't done it yet. It's 
one. I will go online and order the three. Wanna finish doing all this one? Really done this cack handed. Um, and I'm just going to do an outline of my cut crease just to make it really stand out and more defined. These are super pretty. Sorry about that guys, um, my camera, my no, battery died, that's the one. Um, right, so as you can see, I have just done my glitter liner around my cut crease with this, just to tidy it up, and I think it looks really pretty. A little bit of extra sparkle, why not? Um, I'm gonna do the other eye, do everything off the camera, and I will be back for the final look. Hi guys, I am back. Everything else bar this under eye is done. It was really, really simple. All I did was take my little pencil brush and I used Voodoo, Sorcery and Enchanted, which are the three matte purple shades in the palette. Literally dark, uh, Voodoo, Sorcery and Enchanted. That was literally it. So I'm gonna go in really, really quickly. I'm not gonna talk. And I'm just gonna go in with those two shades, blend them, and then that is it. We are done. There we go, and that is the finished look. Um, yeah, so considering she picked my most expensive palette and two of my cheaper palettes, I don't think I did too bad. I did use mostly the Book of Magic. Um, I'd obviously use the. What's that shade called? I did use. Mercury. Oh, and I used Haze. So, okay, I used two shades. Not just one, I used two. Um, but yeah, this is the look that I came up with. I think it's very pretty. I got to focus on the turquoise shade for what I really wanted to do. But yeah, I really like it. Um, I'm sure she's going to love it when I show her in the morning. But yeah, I hope you guys all like it. And yeah, that is it for me. Good timing too, because Kiara's just woken up. And it is quarter 12 at night and she has nursery at 8 o'clock in the morning. I've got to go deal with that now. So, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.